Hello everyone, this is me, Harry Hotan, and, uh, anyway, uh, I had just finished, or not, like, just finished, I was, like, halfway through, uh, recording vlog number nine, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna switch it to minimum detail because I'm lagging too much right now, and, uh, it, like, uh, did one of those game error things, and I'm like, oh, drat, now I'm gonna have to restart that because how fraps works is that, um, uh, it like solely records the game and like it won't record like I could like pop an internet window up right now and you wouldn't be able to see it it would just keep recording the game and then I go I open ba back up RuneScape I log back in and I switch my options to minimum detail and I go to full screen and then I'm like okay and then I was thinking like okay close the options menu and I press this little X and it lo logs me out of the game. D does any of you guys ever do that? Like, press this little X, you're thinking, okay, I'm done switching my options. X. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. Anyway, um, I got, I got a lot of, uh, skill updates. And, uh, one of my friends had just rejoined the game. Um, he'd been gone for quite a while, like a year. And he's back now, though. And, uh, so yeah, shout out to Zeth595, and this is how far I got in. I was going to do, um, uh, Tears of Gothics. So, um, I'll get on with these, uh, skill updates. Um, 76 attack now, that's gone up. 79, uh, strength, I believe that's gone up. Uh, 4k away from 71 defense, and that's a bot. All Whoa! Look at all the bots there. They're picking up that toe fun guy, or whatever the heck it is. Swamp Fungus. That's close enough. Uh, 54 range, that's gone up. Uh, magic, I got that up like 8 levels. Uh, Runecrafting, that's about to go up in this episode. And uh, 33 con construction, that's, uh, that's uh, like the same as before. Yeah, it is. Um, and Dungeoneering is 50. Yeah. I'll show you uh, me getting the scroll of life later on, um, cause that was fun. Um, it hasn't really been doing that much. I, don't, I haven't been finding it as like good as I thought it should be. Anyway, and oh, does anybody, any of you guys, having this problem right now, where like your character will run and stop? This is, I think it's just World 157 that it's happening on, or like Canadian Worlds, but it's just so bad. I think I'm gonna have to like uh, play on a different world for a while until this goes over. I I don't know why it does this at all. It's never done it before for me. See that that's why I wanted to switch the detail before. I think I just need to switch worlds. So that's that's what the problem. So can I do that? Exit to lobby. Anyway, so um. Um, switch to world 145. It's the world that I play on if Canadian worlds are sucking. Oh, I hate this line. I remember when you used to be able to, like, wait until it got down to 9, and then board, and then log in, and it would work. I don't know if any of you guys even know what I just meant, but I bet some of you will. Anyway, um, back to skill updates. Um, I got my, uh, health up a level. I got my, and don't call it constitution, I hate that name. Like, what, what was health points so bad about? Like, what was so bad about health points? <laughs> like, seriously. What's wrong with that? Anyway, um... Herblor, thieving, same. Uh, Slayer is almost level 71. I'm 5k away. Um, Hunter's the same. Mining's probably the same. Um, let me just jump down this little cliffy thing. Cliffy of cloffiness. Cloth the cliff. Anyway. Um, uh, smithing's pretty much the same. Um, fishing's this is pretty much the same. Fire making's gone up a bit. Wood cutting's the same. But farming, that's the biggie. It's gone up, what, like four levels? Five levels? 
72. I can now plant Calquat trees. Um, summoning, that's gone up to 52, so I can use the Terror Bird. And, uh, yeah, and look at that, 101 combat. And I've switched my Slayer Master to the level 100 combat one. I'm hopi hoping that it's not too hard, because my range sucks, as you know that. I really have to get that up. And as far as quests go, I really need to do, um, which quests are they? Um, that one with the penguins, you know, to unlock, oops. To unlock the penguin points, I need the what the heck? Tem Temple of Icup. I'm just, I'm just gonna really get back into quests. Okay, and now let's uh tell me a story. Tell him, tell Juno a story. Okay, tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. It's, uh, one of them made a one of them made a house out of straw and said. Oink, oink, oink. And then a duck walked up to the lemonade stand and asked, Bum, bum, bum. Got any grapes? Wait. That's not the same story. Anyway. Uh. Oh, that. That wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't trouble. Remember that witch's garden? <laughs> the, the little kid who got his ball stuck in the garden? That's. <laughs> that's just such an easy quest and my character slain all that trouble <sighs> my character is such a noob it is often hard to know how long a task will take when we begin it it was not long it was like five minutes your stories of internet oh what ah your stories have entertained me, but I will not permit any adventure to access the tears more than once a week. Come back in two hours and sixteen minutes. Wow. Seriously? Seriously? Okay. We'll go search through the quests that I haven't done yet. It's kind of sad. Um... What's that quest that gets you that stuff? You know, the penguin points. Anyway. Jeez. Oh, I, I know what to talk about. Um, uh, here, let me just go into sizable mode. Oh, what? Hello everybody, and this is me, Harry Ho Ten, and I am here with Telrock. Telrock, I'm not Telrack. I'm not sure how to actually pronounce the name, but there he is. And uh, I'm here, and I am announcing that I have just reached reached 10,000 tokens, and I also have 50,000, or not 50,000 dungeoneering, 50 dungeoneering, and I can now buy the Scroll of Life. And uh, I want to thank. Talrak, or Talrak, or something like that, uh, for spending a lot of time dungeoneering with me. We spent like four or five hours dungeoneering together, and uh, yeah, anyway, let's buy it. Alright. And here it is. This item requires a farming level of 25 to unlock. When unlocked, farmers who harvest patches, including dead ones, have a permanent 10% chance of receiving their seeds back. There is also a 5% chance of getting them from a tree tree seeds. Yeah, 5% chance of getting a tree seed back from a dead tree slash stump. For herbs, for herb seeds, the seed I type returned may be random. When it costs 10,000, uh, the that uh, message is in the way, but I have 10,020, and buying it now, confirm purchase, and I have it. <laughs> 